In 2007, Albion College received a Hewlett-Packard Teaching with Technology grant to incorporate technology into the classroom. The technology that we chose were tablet PCs. And tablet PCs are a pen-enabled uh, device, much like a laptop, that you can write on the screen. And putting that in the hands of students in my organic chemistry class last year uh, and continuing this year allows me to engage and interact with my students in a completely different way. The purpose of the project, as Guy Cox and I understood it, was to design an assessment of the grant award by Hewlett Packard. And in the grant, um, Aaron Miller and Andrew French and Dave Seeley were interested in um, enhancing students' confidence in physics and chemistry classrooms and um, improving student achievement. Um, students have indicated that uh, the use of tablet PCs has made them feel much more confident, primarily because they have more ways to talk with one another and to communicate with the instructor. Um, and a, a most significant in there is that they are, many of them are able to communicate in class anonymously. The tablet software that we use, Dino, allows me to pose a question to the class on the front screens. They can work on that problem uh, on their tablets and then submit an entire panel of their answer to me. And then I can incorporate that into the classroom anonymously so a shy student who knows what's going on can get the recognition anonymously of doing the right problem and so their feedback is uh, really much appreciated. Um, what we have learned from Andrew French is that he, previous to using tablet PCs, he had a um, very commonly understood and traditional way of checking in on students, which was to ask a question to the whole class and then expect a response in public from a student. Um, he could also check homework. Um, he could also check quizzes and exams and uh, determine, make a judgment at that point about students' understanding. Um, he could also talk with students during office hours. Um, with the inclusion of tablet PC um, use in the classroom, you have all of those options, plus you have new options for checking with students, and options, again, that allow for anonymity, which for a number of individuals is a really important factor. They can work the problem on their tablet PC, they can submit their panel to me, I can then grade it, send it back to them, or I can incorporate it into the class uh, as a demonstration of what was done correctly or incorrectly. Uh, the student's submission is anonymous, so I'm not singling out a person uh, without their approval in advance. And often what I've experienced is that uh, a shy student who kind of knows what's going on, all they need is a little bit of encouragement. And so I can heap praise on an anonymous student, and then the student whose panel it is can get the praise that they may be seeking, uh, get the positive reinforcement that what they're doing is correct, and that may inspire them and has inspired them to become more engaged in the class, and they can become a sort of out, more outgoing in the class because I have given that person in an anonymous way positive feedback that what they're doing in the class and what they're doing on that particular problem is correct. Uh, and I've seen that happen in my two semesters incorporating tablets and it, it's been a profoundly uh, rewarding experience and it's completely and fundamentally changed the way I approach uh, teaching of organic chemistry.